This is Stephen Chin for nighthacking.com, and I'm doing Java One interviews with a bunch of different speakers and luminaries who are going to be at the conference. Um, Java One San Francisco is taking place from September 22nd through September 26th and is um, the largest Java conference in the world. So, um, on the Skype chat here, I have Paul Bacher. And tell us. Yes, Good morning, Paul. So that's that's a very nice room you have there. Is that your um, official office work environment? Uh, well, it's my working environment, and it's also my living room <laughs> uh, because I do work from home most of the time. And uh, I used to have uh, a separate office, but I decided if I work at home all day anyway, then well, why not just sit in the living room and have a little bit more space? Very nice, very nice. Actually, the you can't see it um, here, but the um, the streaming. Um, room I'm using is actually our downstairs living room, which I converted into a, a very large office. So I get right. I get a slightly better view here as well. So we're both we're like both in our uh, personal offices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, what? Tell tell me a little bit about your um, you know, your job interests. What what's what's new and exciting for Paul? Yeah, sure. So um, the company I work for is called Luminous. And uh, we're mostly based in the Netherlands. Um, and um, um, as I said, I'm working at home uh, most of the time. Uh, I work as an architect for Luminous, um, which in my case means that I'm just writing a lot of code, basically, which is good. Yeah. Um, because I like doing that. And uh, well, Luminous is doing a lot of different things. We, are, we work for, for a lot of different uh, customers. But um, for the last two years, uh, actually, since I started working for Luminous, I've been working on um, on one large project, and uh, that project is called uh, Pulsan. I'm sometimes uh, tweeting about that as well. And um, there's a project um, where we build a system that we use in high schools, currently in the Netherlands, and we're also uh, doing some pilots in, oh, the, in the US. That's very cool. Yeah. And um, the students and teachers use that for more personalized learning and experience. Nice. Um, and with that, we're trying to well change the the way people learn more or less because there's well a lot of things wrong with um, schools, well at least in the Netherlands at the moment. Uh, and we're trying to improve that, which is a long and difficult way, but it's it's super interesting. Nice. So you're very passionate about um, education. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I just into this um, well by chance probably. Mm -hmm. But it's it's so interesting that it's uh, yeah it's absolutely good to work on that. Cool. So um, while we were chatting earlier, we had we have a bunch of people on the live stream, and somehow Jim Weaver was able to figure out that you're a Metallica fan just by just by looking at you. <laughs> so this is true. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what your favorite Metallica song is. Jim would like to know. Um. I'm not exactly sure. I, I like uh, I, I like more of their old songs actually. So Master of Puppets, uh, Fixer, um, uh, The Memory Remains, songs songs like that. Hmm. And I was uh, actually it's funny. I was just driving back um, back home, and I was listening Metallica with the windows open quite too loud actually. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I'm a Metallica fan. That's did, true. Did, so you didn't get pulled over for disturbing the peace in the Netherlands there? No. As you know, we don't have rules in the Netherlands, so... Uh. Oh, everything goes there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very nice. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop up a shot of your um, slides, your desktop there. Okay. And oh, actually, that's, that's your new book, Building yeah. Modular Cloud Apps with OSGI. So how's that going? Uh, that's pretty good, actually, because uh, we are finished with it. Yeah, it's so, uh, always good when you're finished with a book. As yes. an author, that's a great feeling. So congratulations. Thanks. You know, um, the writing experience is great because um, it's just nice to, well, put things down on paper and uh, trying to explain concepts to, uh, to people. They have a quite difficult phase of editing and editing again and getting feedback, etc. cetera. Um, but now we're pretty much through with that. And uh, it's coming out in a few weeks, uh, probably right before Java 1. Yeah, very nice. So speaking of Java 1, what are some of the, the sessions you're going to be presenting on? Um, so the big topic is obviously uh, modularity. That's also what the book is about. And this year I have four sessions. And um, 
they should be okay because last year I had, uh, I had five. Um, and they're all about um, modularity in, in some way. Um, can you actually see the slide I, I just changed? Yep. Uh, okay. So um, the first session that I'm uh, going to have is uh, building modular cloud applications in Java, lessons learned. And that's, um, that's a one hour talk. And there we, um, I, I do that one together with Bert Edmund. So uh, you're, Bert, you're Bert, scratching Bert. the background there. Uh, sorry about that, that's my cat. Oh, very nice. How, how, Again. how old is your cat? <laughs> uh, it's about a year old. Oh, so he, he or she, is it he or she? Uh, that, that's a he, and we have another one uh, which is a she. Okay, she. He, he jumped in front of the camera before, so that's a pretty big kitty for one year old. Yeah, they are pretty big. <laughs> probably just feed them too much, but uh, what can you do? Yeah, very nice. Okay, sorry to interrupt you. You were talking about serious um, session session talk. Right, so I was talking about the first um, modularity talk for Java 1. Um, this one is together with uh, Bert Erdman. Um, well, you know him, of course, as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bert's great. Puts on a, a yeah. very nice um, conference as well, JFall. Yeah, which is also coming up uh, quite soon. It's in the uh, beginning of uh, November. And the uh, call for papers is still open. Today is the last day, so... Oh, uh, so you're, you're telling me I should put in the talks I've been delaying for the past... That's, that's, that's the hint I'm uh, <laughs> trying to get, yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. So you and so, Paul are uh, going to be talking about modularity. What else? What else uh, are you exactly. talking about at Java 1? Uh, well, uh, j just modularity, actually. So we have a bunch of different um, talks with different ways to look at it, actually. But it's all it's all about modularity. That's kind of my that's um, the big running topic. theme through all of the Java One exactly. content. Very nice. Yeah, and and also your nice. books. Yeah, which is nice actually to have a team like that because then, well, it's just the, the thing you're busy with all the time, and uh, that makes sense. Very nice. So. Um, this first talk, we are uh, uh, basically going to talk about uh, some best practices of using uh, a modular approach. Uh, we're talking about OSGI and how you, how you set up your architecture for that. Um, there's a lot of best practices in it uh, from the project that I was telling about earlier. Um, we've been using OSGI in a modular approach in, in that project. And um, we've learned quite a lot from that. And uh, well, we're going to share some of that um, in this one hour talk. Cool. So that's the, that's the first talk. Um, and then the second talk is a tutorial. So that's, um, what is it, two hour talk? I'm not even sure actually. Tutorials are two or three hours at Java 1. I think it's in a two hour range, but you know, you, you probably have to ask like the conference chair, someone who actually knows this stuff. Yeah, well, I'll probably figure that out before uh, we actually have to uh, be there. Um, <laughs> but that's also about uh, Larry. And in uh, that talk, we are going to do um, a lot of live coding, actually. And we're going to show you OGI from the ground up. So um, a lot of people well, probably know a little bit about OGI, but never really used it. They um, probably think that it's really difficult and hard to use, and that you have to go through a lot of well, painful things to actually get to, uh, get to a modular approach. Um, and we are going to show that it's actually not that difficult, and it's actually something um, that everyone can just start doing. Cool. And uh, and you're going to show live code. It can prove to people that it's actually not that hard to get started with those. Yeah, now. exactly. Very nice. So in this uh, in this two hours, we are um, are going to discuss some architecture uh, to start with, and uh, then we're basically going to build an application from scratch um, with uh, well some enterprise like things on it, like uh, using MongoDB and um, building RESTful web servers and stuff like that. Cool. And you have a third talk as well, right? Yeah. So um, the third talk is um, a modularity again, <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> uh, but that's more about um, uh, infrastructure and uh, deployment. Um, so the project um, that, I, that I'm working on, we are deploying in the cloud. We're running on the on Amazon cloud. And uh, we need, need quite a large scale because, well, there are a lot of students, obviously. And uh, we need to, well, scale out to uh, uh, schools with a lot of students uh, all using the system at the same time. Um, so we're using the cloud for that. Um, but that's, well, of course, easier said than done because, I mean, talking about the cloud and scalability, that's that's quite easy and you've uh, been he hearing that for the past few years. But actually doing it is actually, well, you need to um, set up quite a few things. 
And um, here we're going to share best practices on uh, how we did that and what we've uh, learned from that. So we're going to talk about the provisioning with Apache Ace, uh, which is a project that we um, uh, that we work on a lot uh, as well. Um, some things about scale uh, sc scaling and failover and modular deployments. Um, that is really the other side of um, well uh, being modular and going to the cloud. Cool. So you got a you got a lot of preparation for Java one. How is the um, session prep going with Paul? Are you guys almost there? Um, well, luckily we have been doing most of the talks uh, before already um, on other conferences. So uh, then we well at least uh, get get got got the basics already, um, which is also good because well the, the third and fourth time you're doing a, a talk is always better than the first time. Yeah, yeah. So you, um, you 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 went to those other conferences and you practiced and prepped for Java One, right? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> we, we've been over a lot of conferences in the past few months, especially together with Bert. Cool. And um, uh, which is always fun, but it's also good for your talks because uh, they just get better and better and better. So uh, Java One is going to be like the grand finale. Very nice. And and when are you actually headed out to San Francisco? Are you going to fly in the yes, weekend sir. before? Um, flying in on Friday, and then uh, on Saturday we are probably going to do a wine tour or something like that. I'm um, oh, together nice. with uh, Bert and two other colleagues of mine, uh, Marcel and Sander, and um, we're probably going to do a wine tour. We've all been to San Francisco many times already, so on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now that is one of the highlights of coming to the Bay Area. Is there's quite a lot of stuff to do within. Um, yeah, yeah, there is. I think it's my sixth or seventh time in Java One uh, this year. Um, but it's always still fun to come back. Very nice. All right, so we had a question from the stream. Jim Weaver was wondering what example cases you're using HTML5 for and what the sweet spots would be. Um, so maybe I, I um, actually that's, that's a question that's uh, quite related to the last talk that I'm having. Um, I just put it on, uh, on the screen as well. Because there we're going to talk about well, modularity still, but uh, modularity on the client side, because we're going to talk about modular modular JavaScript. Oh. Um, the project that I'm working on, we are. Um, uh, it, it it should work on all kind of different devices, so all kind of different tablets, um, desktop uh, computers, and um, it's all in a browser, so it's all HTML5, um, which is pretty good on one side because well, you get a portability mm -hmm. uh, between mm -hmm. devices, but well, it's not easy um, as well. <laughs> um, especially if you get into JavaScript, because if you're going to do a lot of client-side work, uh, well, you're going to write a lot of JavaScript code. And um, if I look at myself, at least, uh, I, I've always seen JavaScript a little bit like something that uh, you know designers uh, should do. I don't really want to care about JavaScript too much, uh, because well, I was doing the backend stuff and I was using Java. It's yeah, but I mean, so sometimes you need to be able to do the full end-to-end -end of the application. So you've probably dipped your hand in quite a bit. Yeah. So at some point, we just figured out, well, this is not something we can just do some, uh, let, let, let the UI guys do. This is some serious programming work now. Yeah. Uh, because we're just doing so much JavaScript at the moment. Um, and we've, well, we've been struggling with that because you need um, best practices for uh, how to set up your code, how to be modular, and uh, how to maintain a large code base, etc. All yep. the questions that you would have all, in Java. All the things which Java is quite good at. Good. Yeah. Um, so we've been spending a lot of time while learning uh, ourselves or teaching ourselves how to do this in JavaScript as well. <laughs> and um, well, that's that's what the last la, la, last talk uh, is about. I'm doing that with uh, Sander Mark, another colleague of mine. Cool. And, uh, so we, you're going to share that. some of your um, experiences and best practices from working with quite a lot of JavaScript and dealing with module systems there as well. Yeah, exactly. So that's going to be interesting. It's the first time I'm actually going to talk about JavaScript on uh, on a big conference. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't see that one coming myself either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very cool. So I look forward to um, seeing you in San Francisco yeah. at Java One. It should be quite a lot of fun. Um, any last words you want to leave with our, our viewers? Uh, no. I hope to see uh, all of you on Java 1. Looking forward to it. Cool. Thanks very much.